What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art video, man. If you're new to this channel, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you budge out some heat. In today's video, man, I will show you the process of drawing, how to start your pictures out with a sketch, so when it's time to do your line work, it'll be smooth selling. So, without further ado, let's jump right into this thing. First thing you want to do is make sure your artboard is 18 by 18 inches. That's the size I like to draw on. Now, what we're going to do, I'm using a Wacom tablet. So, the first thing I do, I set my brush. So, I come up here. I hit OK. I go to pressure. Change these two bottom numbers to three. And after I do that, I end up with the brush you see me in on every video. All it is is when you press down light, you get like a thin line. Then when you press hard, the line get more thicker. So that's why it's real good to have that pressure option. So you need to invest in your art tablet, you know what I'm saying? Okay, first thing you want to do, drop the opacity down, change your color to like a bright color. It can be any color, just make sure it's bright. So we're going to use this as the blueprint, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to start out with this color. I dropped the opacity down so it'll give me that, that sketch feel, you know what I'm saying? And all you want to do, whatever you think of, just sketch it out, man. Sketch you out a little. And this, uh, this will make it, once you start doing sketches before you start actually drawing, it'll make it where you make less mistakes, you know what I'm saying? Because you planned it out first. So that's why it's important to start a drawing off with a sketch. Let's see. Rain is on like that. Rain is on like that. Wow, wow, wow. Rain is so. Let's see how it works, man. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to do this thing with the little sketch first. Okay. Now after we got our little sketch, got us a little sketch together. Now what we finna do, we are gonna lock that layer, create a new layer right above it. We are gonna make our color black. Make sure your opacity is back up to 100%. And now we finna start making some clean lines. But we are gonna use that, that little sketch we made as a blueprint. So it kind of give me a better direction of where should I go. Run it on like that. And it's on like that. So just get into practice of uh, planning things out. That's what that's what sketching is. It's planning it out before you start. So as long as you practice on sketching, your pictures will come out a hundred times better. So always plan before you start doing like your final line work. 
Yeah, zoo, 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 zoo. Make everything look smooth. Zoo, zoo. Man, it's like that. I need to make that lip connect like this a little more. Put the flow in a direction. And make this go like that. Make this scene go like that. And it's over. Like that. Okay. The boy look like candy, man. I'm gonna give him a little butt chin. Okay, okay. Bring this ear up like this. And it's over. Like that. Okay. Now. I like to do let's go to our pencil tool make sure your settings inside of your pencil tool look exactly like mine's do hit okay move this color black to the top and now it's our filling tool so what we're gonna do we just gonna create a path for it and let it fill itself in just like that create another path Let it fill itself in like that. Fill these eyes in. Like We're gonna give him like a uh, some waves. You just ain't gonna be able to see the waves. He just gonna have that style of haircut like, like that, you feel me? Man. Man. Make his nostrils dark. Give him a little, little hair above the lip like that, like do, do, do. Rain it down like that. Just a little sam sam. Just a little sam sam. All right. Now that we got our character created, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and give it some color, man. So what I'm gonna do? Create a new layer. Put it under the line work layer. And let's get start with a basic skin tone. Start with the skin tone. I make them brown. Now, we just gonna fill all this in with the pencil tool. It's like that, like boom. So we just gonna trace it and create a path so it stay filling it in. Like that. Stay in the line as best as I can. Okay, now what we finna do is create a layer right above that for the eye layer. So when we start doing the shadows and the tones, it'll fall right behind the eyes. So I kind of put them on top, you know what I'm saying? So you ain't, it'll be easier to work around it. Let's go ahead and get some, 
some eyes real quick. Like this. Bam. And we're gonna make this simple. I ain't gonna go too in depth with this video. This tutorial gonna be like a basic tutorial. And then I start. <clears throat> And then I'll start getting more in detail and in depth with the videos. I'm trying to slowly walk you into it. I don't want to get too far ahead where you like, dang, I can't keep up. So we're going to make this video simple as possible and easy. The goal is to make things easy as possible as well and then start progressing on down the line, making things a little harder, but we're gonna start out real easy. So, you see how I put the eyes and the lips on the same layer? Cause these are the two things that's gonna sit on top of the skin tone. So when I do the shadow layer, it'll fall right behind it. Okay. Now, when I create this shadow layer, It'll be behind, right underneath the eye and the lip layer. So, let me go ahead and create a shadow. And we're just gonna do one shadow, one transition shadow. And then, just like I said, in the, the more I make some tutorials, I start going higher with adding tones and more in depth, but we trying to make it easy. So look, this is why I put the eye and the lip layer above. So when I'm doing my shadows, I can just draw right through it and it'll fall right behind it. You know what I'm saying? So I don't have to try to be so on point of trying to work in the, like working around it. You know what I'm saying? If I can explain that, I can just work through it. Help you move faster too. Now with shadows, it just depends on, do you want the shadow to come from this side of the face? You want the shadow to come from this side of the face and the light to be hitting from this side? Or do you want the shadow to come from this side of the face? Or do you want it to come from underneath and go straight up? Like, you know what I'm saying? It just depends on what you trying to do and how you trying to make your picture look. You know what I'm saying? So the best advice I can give y'all to people who want to learn how to do shadows and get better at it, just look at look at photos, you know what I'm saying, that photographers take, or look at pictures of models so you can just see how they place their different shadows. And then you just draw different pictures of different models. I said models, models. You know what I'm saying? Just so you can get better at it. And then eventually, every time you're drawing, you have been created like a muscle memory of what to do for any situation you're trying to create. See, I want the shadow to come from this side of the face. And I done, <clears throat> I done seen so many pictures of shadows coming from one side of the face where I just remember where it go. You know what I'm saying? If that make any sense. The more you do something, the easier it becomes. So I done, I done did it so much and I done seen so many photos that I know like, okay, this is what it'll look like if the shadow was coming from this side of the face. You get what I'm saying? So, just practice. Find you a lot of pictures, a lot of pictures that photography took of other people on Google and just take that, use that as a reference and practice. That's all you gotta do, man. So practice makes practice make perfect. Okay, we're gonna add a little shadow right here and this little cut. But we ain't gonna go too far over with it. Just like that, boom. Simple. And then you know, under this little cheekbone, you probably got a little shadow coming down right there. Like that, boom. I oh, know I ain't gonna put no shadow right there because it made that cheap on too deep. Yeah, I'm pretty much like that, man. There you have it, man. A little simple how to do a little shadow and how to sketch the proper way of sketching. I always start your, your picture out with a sketch. 
so you don't make as many mistakes on your line work and have at it, man. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you stay tuned because more heat coming soon. Hit that like button, comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see next. Make sure y'all run them lights up. We're going to try to hit, let's say, 300 lights on this video, man. We're going to drop another one. Thank y'all guys for the love and support. Make sure you stay tuned. More heat coming soon. And I'm out this thing.